My name is Alexis, and I'm going to show you how how to add uh, text to your 3D objects in three different kind of uh, 3D modeling software. We are going to use three. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use AutoCAD, Blender, and the slicing software from Microsoft and uh, 3D Builder. That's uh, the easiest one. So first, AutoCAD. Why AutoCAD? It's cool for add text. Uh, you can control, you have more control on the letters than Blender and 3D Builder. From my perspective, I think AutoCAD, if you want to add uh, long text or a lot of text uh, in, in one specifically, specifically object, it's pretty cool. It's um, a lot of work, but the result is pretty, pretty cool. So. This is a, a cube uh, from 2D perspective. I'm going to add the text here. I'm going to show you how to do it. First of all, we put text, the command, and I'm going to make the limits of the that's the distance of um, rotation and the length of the text and the rotation. I put zero on rotation on the angle. Now I'm going to use like this. Welcome. Uh, I enter, enter, and then this is the text. But uh, it's not finished because this is not an object. It's just text, so we can extrude this. So now we need to explode this text. And now. Like this, we use trim to put these um, lines sorry, to <coughs> to make this uh, region later. I'm going to show you in a few minutes, uh, in a few seconds. Sorry. Okay. Um, now, this is not the. We can extrude this from this instance, but that wouldn't be cool because it's going to be a main. So we need to create a region from all of this. And now, this is a mesh. So if we put this perspective we could extrude this did you see these lines? that's what I'm talking about and, and, but, but why? why are these lines here? that's because this line wasn't touching this line so we need to use um, uh, a Edit, P edit is another command to unify to make a combination from this line and all these lines to make one solid object. Then we are going to extrude this and it will look like this. Did you see there is no there is not not like this. But um, if you you can subtract this to this and make or uni or solidify this to this and make um, a layer, that's not the problem. E e the 3D machine don't it's not going to fail for this. The problem is like if you don't have a, a good machine, a good computer, this is like uh, making a render, so it's going to be um, long and maybe well I'm, when I'm working with this I don't create this because my computer my auto can crash all the time so I don't recommend it. But for now like it's not if there are no more uh, uh, there are no well from now it's not important okay but uh, my my work is my cube is too small <laughs> so I'm going to scale this yeah did you see 
and every each letter is a different object so I need to select all the word then I'm going to pick a point and I'm going to create a reference so it's like here from here and now I just need to scale I think like this no. Yeah, that's the line I'm talking about. I can already do it. Um, yeah. I just need to. I can move all the work or move the the cube. It's the same. Okay. I'm going to create a bigger cube so I won't scale it again and now I want to show you this the text is not above the cube uh, it's in the cube, inside the cube so if I subtract these words the cube it will look like this I'm going to subtract this object so this over we are going to subtract these words. So if we are going to the shade square perspective, yeah, it won't look like uh, well. But where is the words? Well, the words are inside the cube. But yeah, the subtraction was effective, and the words are here. If you 3D print this, these letters are going to be uh, they are going to be holes. But we are not looking for that. We want to actually see, we want to actually see the words, so I'm going to move this a little, so now, okay, and that's it, but if we want to su subtract this, of, of course they are going to look like uh, an emboss, well, uh, a subtraction or we can just uh, un unite uh, 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 we can make a solid to two different kind of objects and make one object uh, I want to show you the two ways but uh, this is a uh, I need to speak a bit. first we are going to show you this I going to show you this Welcome uh, to this box. We are going to subscribe this, 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 this. Okay, yeah, you see this? This is what I'm talking about. Oh, we can erase right, right here. Yeah, but did you see this? Did you see that? Uh, there wasn't a hole in the oh why because these are two objects in in one so for making the hole we need to say like subtract these objects subtract this object sorry because this is perspective is more effective to work on it now we have this and uh, if we subtract of course we are going to see the hole but now we are going to solidify the entire object yeah you are attempting to union an operating surface which is not recommended that you want to why this is the error because we have to because obviously here are these these meshes but in this case Fortunately, the AutoCAD can repair this. But imagine if we have a lot of words or a lot of texts with these kind of problems. Obviously, when you want to uh, fix that, 
the AutoCAD may, may crash, so that's why I don't recommend it. And for the last, the okay, for finish is these things is to export this from through an HTL. And how we do that? Just create, just type an STL out, select all the object, create a binary ST file. Yes, we click on desktop, uh, and I don't know, like box. Now we minimize this and open with 3D Builder. That's an sliding software where I want to show you later. And this is the last result. Yeah. But uh, I want to show you CUDA. Okay, now I want to import 